Welcome back to my channel welcome back to the vlog guys so today is Sunday and I'm in the kitchen for another day so guys please remember to like share comment subscribe hit the post notification bell as soon as I drop another video you will be the first to be notified so guys today is Sunday my sister's gone to work her fiance is gone to church I did not go to church today because uh, to be honest I was a little bit tired so I am here and I'm in the kitchen and I'll be cooking. Okay, so here I have, as you can see, I have some carrot and some Irish potato. Guys, you know me, I love to, to do my blend up, blend up. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm, I'm going to be cooking this and then after it, I'm going to be blending it to make some juice. So guys, Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be cooking this. I'm going to place it on the stove. Okay, guys, so that is placed on the stove. And then I will be cooking some... Well, my sister fiance requested some... Let me put this over there. He requested some brown stew beef. No, guys, I'm not really a beef lover. I'm not a lover of beef, if you know that. I do not love beef, but I will do it. So, I'm going to be doing some stew beef Jamaican style. So, here is my beef, all season, as you can see. Nice and pretty. All season up. So, I'll be doing some stew beef, and I'm also going to be doing some curry chicken. So, guys, because my sister packed most of her stuff, because... She's supposed to be moving soon. She packed up most of her stuff, so I have to use what she has. She left out. So this, guys, is my chicken. All season. And, guys, I use my seasoning from Jamaica. It's finished now, so I'm going to have to make some more. And, you know, that it's not going to be the same because the peppers are not as hot as the one in Jamaica. And, well, the same thing. It, it will be the same with the, the, the bell peppers, but... The skeleton is not going to be the same. It will be the same with the onion and all that. But I don't think it's going to taste the same. But I'm going to try my best to do, let it get close to being like the one that I just used to do in, in Jamaica. So these are what we're going to be cooking today. So guys, stay in the kitchen with me while I cook. So guys, this is my fourth. This is what? Um... I do what three weeks up here already yeah three weeks I'm going into the fourth week now guys so I'm looking forward to go back home anyway so you know sometimes you miss your home sometimes yes you want to look a vacay right you know a short one especially when you when you don't have your family but I'm looking forward to go back home soon to my family because I miss them really miss them I miss my husband and I miss my son and I also miss my daughter yeah those are my family so I really miss them. So guys, let's get cooking. So stay with me in the kitchen. Okay, guys, welcome back. So I'm about to blend my seasoning. I don't know if you can see me, guys, because it's a bit dark in here. But this is the seasoning that I cut up. I have onion, scallion. You know, guys, you know that these are the, the um, American scallion. Yeah. These are the American scallion. They are not like the one in Jamaica, but as I said before, I have onion, scallion, sweet pepper, thyme, pepper, which these are the American pepper. I know that they're not that hot. And garlic. I have all of that in here. I see my sister with this Walker's Wood Scotchy. And guys, if you know anything about um, these hot sauces in Jamaica, you know that they are hot. So I'm also going to add a little bit of this to it. And here I have some pimento grain that I'm also going to add to it. So I'll be blending my seasoning with some olive oil. 
also. Let's see if I can get this cover off. Okay. So what I'll be doing now, guys, I'll be adding my seasoning. Guys, the time that they have up here, it's the time just don't look like the time in Jamaica. This time. The, I mean the, the um the leaves are so thick. Don't, it will never compare to the Jamaican one, but as I said before, I'm here, so I have to make use of what they have. So I'm just going to add all my pimento grain to this. I'm going to add some of this. Walker's wood. Scotchy, just to, for it to have that taste, that spicy taste. Okay. I have to do it in two portions. So, I'm going to add my olive oil. And guys, when I'm doing my, um, my seasoning, I also add a little bit of vinegar. I don't know if you guys do it, but I add a little bit of vinegar. So let's see. I'm going to check to see if my sister has the apple cider vinegar because that's the one I'm going to use. But if not, I'm going to use the regular vinegar. So let's check. Okay, guys, yes. She do have the apple cider vinegar guys, right here. So I'm going to add a little bit to my seasoning. Not a lot. Maybe about a tablespoon. I'm going to add some more olive oil because I did not have enough. So uh, let's see. Get this over here. Push this back. Okay, guys. So let's let's blend. Okay, guys, so this is what it's looking like. This is the amount that I get from the first batch. So I'm going to do the second batch. I'm wondering if I should just add the rest of it to it, which I might just do that. Because I already put all the pimento grain in it. I'm just going to add the rest of it so it can finish blend. This is a lot, guys, a lot. But the reason why I do it like this because I want it to um, want to make sure that I have... The right amount for the period of time that I'll be here, which is not gonna be long, but even if I don't finish using it before I go, then my sister can still have it to use when I'm gone. So let's go. <laughs> One full blender of um, seasoning. So let's get it open. So yeah, guys. So this is my blended seasoning. I'm gonna pour some of it in here. Ooh, that piece of time did not blend, but it's gonna go in still. So yeah, guys. This is my blended seasoning. So this is all full. So a small container guys so it's all full so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the rest of it in this container because i don't see anything else that my sister have here that i can add it to so i'm gonna put it in here and put it in the refrigerator whatever is left in the blender i can add it to my meat that i'm gonna be cooking so yeah guys so this is what it's looking like Woo. all that onion is burning my eyes so you guys that's what it's looking like so i'll have this to cook whenever i'm cooking Ooh, burning my eyes guys and there's a little bit left in the blender so i'm gonna add it to my meat so guys this is for cooking as you can see so that's blended seasoning that I'm going to put in. And guys, this seasoning has everything in it. It has scallion, onion, thyme, garlic, sweet pepper, hot pepper, all that. Oh, guys, that thing is burning my eyes. 
burning my eyes like crazy. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the rest of it to this and I'm gonna start cooking. My um my Irish potato and my carrot is already on the fire Cook, boiling away. So you gotta just pour some on this. So it's on the fire boiling. So yeah, this is looking so good with the seasoning. So it's on the fire boiling. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing, guys, is to start cooking this beef because I don't know if it's if it's gonna be hard or you know sometimes you're cooking beef and it'll look a bit tough. I don't know. So I'm gonna put the beef on the fire. Start cooking it. The curry chicken that I'm gonna be doing. That is not hard to cook because you guys you already know how we do curry chicken, Jamaican style, okay? So that's not gonna be hard to cook, but these I'm gonna be putting them in the refrigerator. That's when I'm cooking, I have my seasoning already blended. So there's a little bit left that I'm, I'm gonna add to the pork, to the, not pork, to the, I don't know why I'm talking about pork. Like I have some pork on my mind. So yeah, guys. Get everything out of this blender so need to get this blender all washed and clean to blend my carrot juice all right guys so stay with me in the kitchen while I do what I do best one of what I do best not <laughs> this is not what oh, the only thing that I do best guys but one of what I do best I love to cook I love to cook and I love to try new stuff there's something new up here that I, I decided that I'm gonna try before I go and it's some turkey wings I've never cooked turkey wings before so I have some in the refrigerator and I'm gonna to try to cook it before I go back to Jamaica so those are my meat time to start cooking guys stay with me okay guys so all right I'm gonna start my beef. I'm gonna use this to take it out, guys, because there's a lot. So I'm gonna use it to take it out and to put it into the the oil. And I, I already added some um, olive oil to the pot. So. Accident guys, accident. I need to get that up before it starts burning. So let's do it this way. There you go. I hate when I'm cooking guys and um something like drop on the stove. I do not like it. I don't like to smell it. I'm gonna have to get it off, get all of that off when it's a bit cool, but I get most of it off already. So anyway, guys, this is it. For some reason, I don't know what is wrong with this burner, because when I start putting the meat in there, it sounds like it's really hot. But now that I'm putting them in there, it's getting so cold. I don't know what's wrong with this burn and it's and high. Alright, let's see. Let's put it up here and see. Okay, it's on high. So yeah guys, I'm cooking some stew beef. And I'm going to try to do it the Jamaican style. So it's going to be some stew beef with bean, with butter bean. Mm. 
Okay, guys, so it's all it's in the pot. Let me show you. Okay, guys, so that's what it's looking like. Okay, guys, so my carrot and everything is over here boiling, so I'm going to turn the stove off because I think that might be cooked. Because guys, I'll be doing some carrot juice, and you know how I do my carrot juice in Jamaican style. Boil the carrot and the Irish potato together, and blend it, blend it with supplejen, all that stuff. So that's what I'll be doing. So my beef is on the fire, so I'm gonna go ahead now and start doing my curry chicken. So stay tuned, guys. So this is what my stew beef is looking like, guys. So the only thing I need to add now is some butter bean. So I'm going to add some butter bean to this. And then I'm going to let it um, cook down for a little bit more. Let it go down to gravy. And then that's it. Okay. And over here is my curry chicken as always. But you guys, you know me. I love to cook. And cooking is something that I specialize in. So this can turn off now because I have to stick into the pot a little bit. So, and I don't want that because I don't want it to burn. I have it on high flame. So I'm going to turn this one off now. So that's my curry chicken right there. Yeah, guys, that's my curry chicken. So this can turn off. So I'm going to turn that off. So they requested some white rice, guys. So I'm not really a white rice person on a Sunday. But I am just doing what they request. So... The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add, put on some rice. All right, guys. So I'll show you the finished product as soon as I'm finished and I'm ready to dish. I'm going to dish my dinner because I don't know what time they'll be here. Well, my sister is at work. She won't be coming off work until tomorrow morning. So she will have this for dinner tomorrow. Her fiancé is at church. So let's see. I'll show you the finished product as always. Okay, guys. So I've added the bean to it. So, this is what it's looking like, guys. This beef is oh, looking so soft and nice. So, yeah, guys, this is what my stew beef is looking like with butter bean. So, yeah, guys, that's it. So, it's time for me to start blending my carrot now. So, here it is, guys. This is the carrot that I cooked this morning with some Irish potato. And in here, I already added some of it along with the water that I used to cook it. And I add some Lasco, vanilla Lasco. So I already added add the Lasco to it. So it's time to start blending. So. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is the carrot juice. Well, you can see it from, um, um, guys, I have to mix it in this container because as I said before, my sister packed her stuff already, not remembering that I was coming and I love to cook. So because of that, I have to work with what she have out right now because they already packed and I don't want to go and pack her stuff again. So this is a carrot juice. So guys, I'm going to be adding some. Sweeten condensed milk, not a lot. I don't want too much to be in it. I don't want it to be sweet. I'm gonna add two, I'm gonna add like a small amount of sugar. So I think that that's enough. I'm gonna clean that off when I'm finished. So I'm also gonna add, you know, our, well, I don't know if it's from Jamaica, but you know, this is the supple gen, the peanut punch that we use in Jamaica. Guys, we went to a Caribbean store yesterday and we saw these, so I picked them up because I want to add them to my carrot juice. So I'm also going to add that. One can. And I'm also going to add a supple gin, guys. So, yeah. And you know the whole ropes already, people. See this thing full up already. So 
So one supple gen, one peanut punch. And guys, my sister tell me that she have dragon stout. This is the dragon that I see her with. So this is what I'm actually going to be adding to it. Well, you know what? Let me taste it first and see what it tastes like. Because I've never seen it like this before. God, this one bitter. This one is so bitter, I don't even taste like the dragon stout in Jamaica. But first, let me add a half a bottle and see what it's like first before me add the rest of it. Because trust me, people, I don't want to spoil this um, carrot juice, this nice, nice carrot juice. This one is so bitter. The dragon stout in Jamaica don't taste so bitter. I don't know which dragon stout this one is, but guess what? This is the one that I see she having in her refrigerator, so work with it. I'm working with it, guys, because it's working with me. So, you know, I'm going to add my little spices and all that. So, guys, I'll continue to mix this in. Add whatever little spices I need to add, such as I'm going to add some nutmeg extra. These are the ones that we have in Jamaica, Benjamin. I'm not sure about this vanilla. This is the type of vanilla that I, I found in the um, Caribbean store. So I'm also going to add that to it. And then, guys, I'll show you the finished product. Let's see how it tastes now. Hmm. It's actually tasting good. It tastes really good, guys, so I can add the rest of the dragon stout to it. I can add the rest of the dragon stout, maybe a toops, a little bit more milk. And though I said I was going to add a little bit of sugar. Oh my god, that wasn't finished, so I'm going to add a little bit. Small teaspoons of sugar. I'm going to add to it because I don't want it to be too sweet and I don't want it to be too fresh. So, that will do, that will do guys, so alright, I'm going to mix, 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 and then I'm going to add my vanilla. Actually, it smells like vanilla. Just maybe, yeah, that's about a teaspoon of vanilla. And it might not make extra. Let's see if I can pull this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go open this and then I'm going to add a little bit and then I'll, I'll show you. As soon as I'm finished and ready to eat, then I will show you my finish, finish, finish product, guys. As you know, me love cook. That is my speciality. I don't know if that word is correct or if there's any word like that, but guess what? I already said it. So, this is what my carrot juice is looking like. Looking really rich and nice. Just to add my vanilla, my nutmeg extra. Now I, I wish I have just I wish I have the powder nutmeg. But this one works perfectly anyway if you don't have it. Because I use this in Jamaica a lot also. Sometimes when I'm doing my thing, I still use this one in Jamaica. I don't know why I'm not getting it to open. Because I have all these nails, I need to get them off because okay here it goes okay that's it that's all that yeah all right guys so this is it and i'm not gonna ask any question if it tastes good because my taste it already and it tastes good mm, mm, mm. just need to put this in the refrigerator now for it to cool and then I'm good to go. So the only thing I have left to, to do now, guys, is to cook my rice and do some green veg, and that's it. Yeah. So you guys, stay tuned. So this is the finished look, guys. 
dinner is served. And that's my carrot juice over there. See you guys. So this is dinner. Thanks for watching.